all right hello 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 welcome back to these divinity these divine tarot thank you for joining in with me today Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and jump into this beautiful, holistic, divine feminine healing, y'all. I pray that they have been resonating with you if you have been following along with the series. If not, you can check out the um, link in the description box below. I hope you join us get some of that good healing and as I say that y'all y'all can as you can hear in the background I am out in nature getting that good ass prana so you know never mind any of the noises or anything like that just kind of taking the vibe with me okay without further ado though let's go ahead and get into this um, disclaimer it should go without saying please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know and if you have any questions do not hesitate to let me know as it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading or readings, okay? Keep in mind that they are general, all right? Not all may apply to you and that's perfectly okay. Take what does and let the rest fly. Maybe a message for somebody else, all right? Um, you may want to pay particular attention, like if I call out, even if I don't call out uh, numbers, if you're drawn to them, there may be a reason, okay? I don't believe in coincidences. It may just mean that, you know, when I call them out, I may be referencing your life path number, the day or month that you were born. Could even be talking about the house that you may want to pay particular attention to or that may needs to be healed or, you know, what have you. It just may be like to get your attention if it's a, like your, I don't know, your jersey number, your favorite number, your kid's jersey number, if you have kids, uh, a number you may want to play in the lotto. I don't know, y'all. You know, I say that jokingly, but I'm serious. But like I said, it just may be meant for you to just pay particular attention at that time, okay? Uh, what else I need to say? <clears throat> now, I know that we are focused more on the divine feminine aspect, but still, especially when we get into the tarot, I may say he, she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies, but I do not subscribe to gender roles as far as male, female. So again, take what applies, let the rest fly. Roles may be reversed, so don't be surprised, all right? It's up to you to use your own free will and discernment and flip-flop yourself as you need to, okay? Um, I think that's all I need to say. Y'all, if I miss something, you know, it's the regular old spiel. I'm sure if you've checked out any other of my videos, you will see and hear, you know, what it is that you need to, okay, and get out of it. All right, with all that being said, let me go ahead and get a quick word of prayer. Hold on just a second. Okay, I was trying to let that car pass by. Whew. To the most high, heavenly and divine, angels, ancestors, spirit, guides, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for leading and guiding us. Thank you for allowing me to be here as a clear and open channel to bring forth the message for the collective. Clear no chaser, straight no chaser. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for my voice. Thank you for the gift of my tongue. Thank you for the insight, the awareness, the clarity. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so filled with joy and gratitude just for using me. Allow it to come through whatever is needed to help uplift, enlighten, heal, strengthen, protect, nourish, nurture. Please bring forth the abundance, the prosperity, all that the viewer needs at this moment in time or for the time to play out as you see fit for the highest good. Once again, all these blessings I ask and give thanks. Ashe, 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 oh. All right, you guys, so for this week, we're gonna utilize the beautiful wisdom of the Oracle. I'm loving this deck and the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm loving this combination, actually. So we're gonna get right into it. Without further ado, they've already been shuffled and blessed. So let's go and grow. 444 on the timer when I just said that. All right, you guys, so I ended up moving the stands on back because the way this wind is set up, they're not gonna hold. <laughs> so let's just go on and get on into it and see what Spirit has for us today. Wow, too many. 
but look this came back out <laughs> this came out the other day um at the bottom of the deck but look building blocks and loyal heart are the other two that came out 28 potentially a 10 or a 1 and 35 potentially an 8 we're gonna put these back because i just want one okay if they come out it is truly meant to be right all right just one please what do you have for the divine feminine today they're kind of sticking y'all dealing with some stuck energy thank you and I, flip, I saw this flip. <laughs> it kind of twirled around. Y'all saw it. If you didn't, anyway, fork in the road. All right. There's a decision that you're needing to make. Which way are you going to go? You know? No wrong. No. No decision is the wrong decision. Right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? It, is, it just is what it is. Either way, you're going to grow. Okay? Either way, you, you should learn. Right? Either way is an opportunity for a blessing. It doesn't matter. 13 potentially being a four. Um, either way, it's going to stabilize you, balance you, ground you. Hopefully, if you're open and willing to learn, 13 is also scorpionic energy, transformative energy, death energy, right? You got to end. You got to go uh, out with the old, in with the new. You got to go away from the old to get to the new. You know what I'm saying? You can't always do the same things, think expecting different results. That's the definition of insanity. You know what I mean? Like something has to change. That's the way of life. Hold on. Get that glare off of there. But yeah, that's the um, that's the circle of life, right? It's never ending. It's eternal. But some things always, everything has to die. What is what? What it say? Oh, y'all know what I just had. Oh my god. Hold on. This dog on plane is so loud. But I just had the greatest epiphany. I think. I don't know. I think they're all great. Either way. But uh. You know how we say uh, you're born to live. No, you live. What does it say? You live to die. Whatever that saying is. I don't even know if I'm really saying it right. But what I just heard, instead of you live to die, you you die to live. You understand what I'm saying? Because even when we, even when we quote, die, end quote, whatever that means for you, right? Um, God promised us life and life eternal so we don't ever die. You know what I'm saying? But what's that? What's that? Who used, to, who used to say that? We don't die. We multiply. Who said that? That was a cartoon back in the day, y'all. For my 80s babies, y'all y'all comment below. Who said? I forgot where that came from. Anyway, but yeah, I love that. Okay, thank you for that spirit. It's time for a nap. And I feel like this is where your um, insight and your clarity and your decision they're going to help you. They're going to bring you, you know what I'm saying? They're going to show you which way to go. The fox and the, what is that, an elk? And what is that on here? Hold on. It's a monkey, but it's a bird monkey. I don't know. It got a beak, y'all. Y'all see that? I know it's kind of dark, but the bird, monkey, something in the elk there's definitely an owl here and i feel like there's wisdom maybe you there's wisdom that you need to gain or learn from even this past experience and or wherever it is you're meant to go you know what i'm saying 24 potentially being a six here but like i told you even in the sport energy wherever whatever decision you make it's meant to balance stabilize you and it's not necessarily right or wrong okay it's all in your perception be aware though because all things all things work for your highest good and all things are meant to be a lesson for a blessing okay so let's see what this has to do what is this fork in the road spirit what is this fork in the road thank you oh it came in reverse this time hold on let me see what this is maybe i can slide this over some now the sun down hid behind the leaves now what is this what is this thank you Ooh. I said, oh, because I immediately felt this heaviness. King of Cups in reverse, and then the Seven of Wands. Mm. For some of you, this very much so has to do with a lover or two. Okay? Because with this Three of Cups, like some of y'all may have been in a third party situation, and, and you know, 
it can be two people it can be a, per, a person and a in a place it can be a person and a thing like what you do you know what i'm saying for a living like your job because I, I feel like we had that at the beginning of the week anyway where or one of the days where some some of you were fighting within yourself on choosing between your work and your family right um it's like the same thing is coming back and i feel like this may be a carryover for those of you who that resonated with i don't remember which day if i remember i will try to put the number day in here so that you can see it if you have not but some of y'all truly like i feel like some of y'all some of y'all may be fighting for this i'm hearing love of my life you are my friend I can pretend without you, baby. It's like a simple true love. The beautiful Erica Badu, baby. But um, in common, so <laughs> wow. You may have some of y'all, whoever this is, y'all definitely have something in common, or at least you feel so, right? They may feel the same way. I don't know. And you feel like it's worth fighting for. Somebody um, somebody is not quite emotionally mature enough to even recognize what this is. And if this is you, I just feel like you needed to really take a break from it. Um, give it some time. You may be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio. I generally get Scorpio energy, but it's screaming Pisces from this particular card. But I generally get Scorpio energy from the King of Cups. Um but any water sign for that matter and it doesn't have to be any of those but I'm just saying um, I don't know it's something about it it's something about somebody is like really not they're not feeling it you're not feeling it you're not listening to your heart if this is you you're not following your heart I don't know what it is but it's something about that whoever this is and um, you may have had your heart broken by this person or people or whatever situation this is and it's just like you i feel like you needing to really probably take a break from it and allow it to transform because this 13 energy is coming through strong you know something has to give right because something about it, if that person ain't respecting you you know what i'm saying or treating you the way you feel like you want to be treated and need to be treated then why put yourself in that situation hold on one second Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. Bottom of the oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, somebody. This, as I said in the beginning of the week, it could very much so deal have to do with somebody, you know, a family situation or whatever, whatever, whoever this group of people is. You thought it was gonna be. I just heard shits and giggles, but it's not, you know and um with this 10 here is something is done it's really i mean you're obviously at a, a, a vital a crucial point in your life to where you're going to have to make a decision do you stay or do you go do you fight for this in the seven of wands or let it go and honestly i feel like most of y'all need to let it go it don't matter what you're dealing with you know whatever the situation if this resonates with you i'm telling you take a break from it let it go let it because the thing about it is um I think it was yesterday when I just read, if it's meant for you, whenever we got the community, if it's meant for you, it's for you. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do. And I say that with anything, it doesn't even matter what it is, you know? So nothing's going to stop it, honestly, but you yourself and God, if God doesn't see fit for you to have it at this point in your life. You know, understand what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what it's basically saying, because that not for you card is coming up. So um, in my mind. So yeah this situation is not meant for you right now it doesn't mean forever and always but it, it needs time to breathe you gotta let it you gotta let it heal something about it y'all and that's why i feel like because this time for a nap is like that break you know let it go step away from it and just let god do because i feel like some of y'all whatever this situation is a lot of y'all been hovering over it you know what i'm saying like smothering it for so long it hasn't had room to grow and that's the thing you gotta give it some air you got to give it some space, whatever this is for you. Okay, let's start there with the fork in the road. Um, the message begins on 49 and it's going to end on 52 for what I'm going to read to you. Meanings. 
Time to make a decision. Considering the consequences as you prepare to act, owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. The Oracle's message. Every choice has a consequence. You're, you've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction for it is an opportunity. No, well, yes, it is an opportunity, but it says for it is an important crossroad. Take heart as no matter which path you choose will have a rich and meaningful experience. And that's exactly what I was telling y'all. And I feel like that's why that king of so uh, wow, wow. For me to say that, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But that's why this King of Cups is in reverse. Because some of y'all, like I already said, are not listening to your heart. It's like you you are um, feeling emotionally immature. Or you're not wanting to tap into your emotions to really feel your way through this and go with what you love. Something about that. For me to say the King of Swords, though, I feel like you... A, you may be dealing with or in that Aquarian, um, maybe even potentially Libran type of energy or even Gemini. But King of Swords for me is generally Aquarius. Anyways, um, you're probably being overly like, yeah, that's all I was about to say. Overly practical or like uh, you, you, in, you're, you're thinking too much with your mind. But at the same time, though, you're clear in what you want to do and you know what you want to do. It's all about making the decision from a heart felt perspective okay i pray that makes sense um especially with the king of cups and this ten of cups well all of them really all the cups energies are in reverse it's like you're really not emotionally tapped in whatsoever you know okay Whew. wow where was i so take heart as no matter which path you choose will have a rich and meaningful experience okay and the relationship if this has to do with the relationship for you it says You've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? To go deeper and commit to... Com Hold on. Why am I stuttering over this? Y'all really not... Y'all y'all scared. Some of y'all are really scared. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping above your words to say to whoever you're dealing with. I don't know. Maybe that's why you need to take a nap. Hold on. Let me go. It says, which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? To go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away like i said will you stay or will you go right will you fight for this or let it go and i feel like some of y'all just need to let it go for the time being not meaning forever always and then you know just give it time take a break but anyways this is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do invest and give then choose you cannot make a wrong choice if you move forward with a relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone. I'm telling y'all, that's what y'all, that's what I'm feeling for real. So you will not, oh, excuse me, you will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid to, of the intensity of genuine connection. All roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to a truer experience of the heart. And that's what I try to tell y'all. No wrong decision. I mean, why do I keep saying that? It's no right or wrong decision. All Any decision you make is going to be for your highest good. And you're going to hopefully learn along the way, right? All right. Prosperity message. You've come as far as you can at this part of your journey. And now you're faced with a choice. Inherent in this choice is the need for change, for evolution, and for a bettering of your circumstances. Narrow it down to just a single question. Who do I need to become and what do I need to believe in order to live a life of prosperity? Answer honestly and from the heart. Then the decision about which way to go will be effortless. Know that the abundance is all around you. Choose to see it and it will be easier to settle on a direction where the way will be made clear by your intuition, which knows how to steer you towards your well-being. Okay. Good gracious. That seemed like it was long. <laughs> That seemed really long. Anyway, let's go on to time for a nap. I feel like I need a nap, to be quite honest. So, message begins on 89, and for what I'm going to read you, it goes through 91, okay? Meanings, rest, rejuvenation, and renewal. 
temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. The Oracle's message. This is a time to step away and rest. Let the cares of your world go. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your lists, your desires. Yeah, this is for me. <laughs> oh, wow. Nothing is as important as rest, detachment, and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back, take a seat, and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you, absent any force or conscious direction as you observe without engagement now. Mm -mm. If this has to do with a relationship, it says, When it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's good to take this time to go to get... Mm -mm. When it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's good to take this time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force anything right now. Allow things to flow naturally, and a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. I'm telling you. That's where that Piscean energy was coming from as well, right? Just go with the flow. Patience is the key to your heart's desire right now. Withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. And that's what I was telling y'all about giving it room to breathe and grow, okay? Prosperity message. This is a great time to take a break from your busy schedule and allow yourself the opportunity to step back. Your plans are meant to be put on ice. Your goals can wait. Dream, imagine, and let go of any attachments to any outcome now. Meditate and take a holiday if you can. Things will speed up soon enough. After a break, you may want to make some changes. Epiphanies have an amazing way of arising when you take your focus off your to-do list and allow yourself to rest. And that's that on that, y'all. I'm taking heed. I promise you I am. Because that's it. I'm about to go. <laughs> I told y'all because I told you I feel like I truly, it's been a lot going on anyway um in my life my personal life and with family and stuff so that's my cue that hit for me i don't know about you i pray it did if it resonates you know what to do for those of you who are new that means comment your testimony down below you never know how this may help someone grow especially and including yourself though okay if someone comes to mind please do like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already i truly appreciate that and thank you for that and love you for that if you're joining me for another day, you can check out the link in the description box for the playlist. If not, take care. Either way, y'all, just be easy. Heal, nurture. Time to take a break, for real, okay? Take a nap. <laughs> I love you and I thank you once again. I shave. Deuces.